Okay, hello, bonjour, salut. This is The Cure, and this is A Forest. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is a popular song I see from the views here, and uh, also a popular request. And uh, I'm glad people like uh, that I'm liking The Cure or whatever, that I react to them or whatever, because I like The Cure, and I'm glad other people like The Cure and want me to react to them more. So yeah, this is A Forest, and. Uh, I mean, we're going to get into it, and uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm ready to go. We'll talk about the song afterwards, as always, and uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just get into it. Okay, A Forest, and the lyrics on video, I think. Because of imagery.
I like the ending of that one. I like, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm tripping over my words. <laughs> um, also, I'm looking back because there's a hockey game on, and, uh, yeah, anyway, that's what I was looking back, and I just wanted to see the score. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna say right off the bat, this song sounded like a Metallica song to me. I don't know why. Uh, just this, the start of it, I thought it was kind of Metallica-esque. And I see the song came out in 1980, so Metallica wasn't even a thing yet. But, um, yeah, it just had that feeling for me. I can't remember, like, the tones or whatever, but I could replay it, but, I mean, I'm kind of lazy. And, uh, so, yeah, it had that tone to that. And then also, like, a little bit of underlying punk, I felt, uh, at some parts. was just the guitars and the bass and all that stuff. It just had a little bit of punk influence, I thought. I thought. And, uh, also a little bit futuristic, like, new wave sound. I mean, it just had everything. I don't know why. I just, uh, that's what I thought about the whole track. Like, yeah, like, punk. A little bit of, uh heavy metal kind of stuff and rock obviously and uh yeah i just felt all of that in this track and uh i i made me like the track even more i mean this was a good track and i see here on uh the about and it says so this was the first uh charting single in the uk for the cure it was their second to chart in new zealand peaking at number 38 well there's a fact for you so it says robert smith uh considers a forest as a turning point point for the band where people began listening to their music and believing in their potential and that must have been a nice feeling i would say finally seeing that your band's coming up and uh other people are finally noticing uh he has given conflicting explanations behind the song's lyrics originally he stated that the song is based upon an experience he had as a child where he got lost in the woods but later he denied this stating it's just about a forest uh all right so he told Rolling Stone in uh, 2004, With the forest, I wanted to do something that was really atmospheric. I felt that. That's what I really liked about this song, too. And I like the images uh, by this creator who even... Uh, there's their little uh, channel. I can't really pronounce that, but you know what I mean. Nice video they put together for this song. I really liked it and it made it more enjoyable. Um, so, yeah, he said, I wanted to do something that was really atmospheric. And it had it has to have a fantastic sound. And uh, he said, Chris Perry said, if you make this sound radio friendly, you've got a big hit on your hands. I said, but this is how it sounds. It's the sound I've got in my head. It doesn't matter about whether it's radio friendly. Well, he stuck to his guns. Uh, he also shared with Record Collector that same year, when we did Jumping Someone Else's Train, uh, Polydor Records, who distribute fic fiction records in England, said, this is it. This is a top 10 single. And it went nowhere. Uh, they also said they couldn't really hear A Forest as a single, and it was a hit. Polydor doesn't understand us. Uh, and I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. Polydor, Polydor, whatever. But uh, apparently they didn't understand The Cure. Like uh, probably a lot of others didn't understand The Cure in 1980 when they were just coming up. But finally they made it big, and now they're a Hall of Fame band, you know? And that's always nice to see. So yeah, I mean, like I said, he's, well, like Robert Smith said, very atmospheric. That's what I really liked about this song. I felt like I was just, you know... I was on a cloud, you know, I'm just going through space with uh, Robert Smith. And uh, yeah, it was just very nice. Uh, I feel like I say the same thing after every song, but it's just like, I don't dislike any song, I feel. And uh, I just, I really like the, the lyrics and uh, the imagery I got. And I mean, the end of the lyric, uh, well, the last verse, verse three, suddenly I stop, but I know it's too late. I'm lost in a forest, all alone. The girl was never there, which I thought was a nice little touch or whatever was a nice lyric the girl was never there makes you think it's always the same i'm running running towards nothing again and again and again and again or whatever and uh yeah it's just a very i guess depressing kind of end to it you could say it's just uh makes like i said it makes you think it's just like the girl was never there it's like oh crap uh that's that's uh something and uh yeah it's just, I hear a voice calling my name, the sound is deep in the dark, I hear a voice, and start to run into the trees, and I mean, yeah, like I said, this whole song, I, I can see why people like it, and why it has so many views, and why it's like, was one of their first songs that made people listen to them and think, oh, this band's pretty good, so, yeah, I mean, that's about it, I guess, I just love the imagery and the lyrics, and uh, like I said, had a lot of nice, uh, uh, like, familiar sounds that I love, and uh, it's all well and good i guess that's about it so yeah uh, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and liking liking and commenting and all that stuff uh it's always nice to see that like subscribe like subscribers keep going up and all that stuff and people are commenting 
and it's like it's just kind of uh it's uh you know it's kind of bizarre i guess just because like i'm just surprised people watch <laughs> this channel i guess but i mean it's just it's really nice and i'm glad a lot of people like it and uh, a lot of people say what they feel about the song and what they like and all that stuff and it's just it's a nice little community here and uh yeah about what i think it's like 167 subscribers i got or something like that which is like since may i only had like 55 so i mean that's like not a lot to anybody that's in like what like 100 and something subscribers since may and to a lot of people with big channels obviously that's like nothing but i mean to me it's just like this is just a growing channel or whatever it's just like little 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 and uh, anyway, it's just nice to have this little community and uh, uh, yeah, and where I can just react to songs and uh, it's just, it's, I just like it. I'm, I'm pleased with how it's gone. So yeah, I guess that's it. And uh, thanks for listening to my rambles and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Like I said, thanks for watching all this stuff. Love you guys. I never said that before, I don't think. And uh, anyway, that's it. All right. Goodbye.